this is my control panel basically for the entire solar array. So these are 350 watt Amazon purchased uh, grid tie inverters and I hooked them up this way. So each one goes into a watt meter. So each one has its own watt meter and this watt meter is gonna be connected to the solar panel. Uh, the connection is gonna come through here. And then I have, I'm gonna feed them both through these lines inside this strip. This one is rated for 2000 watts. Also has a trip uh, in case something goes wrong, this one can trip. Uh, if there's a short inside here and then also I've mounted a fan uh, and it's going to uh, circulate air under it because this is the only way that you can make these things last. All the electronics and everything are hooked up here at the bottom and they get hot through the bottom. So uh, here's some numbers uh, with this thing mounted on the wall. These things are staying pretty cool. The fan definitely does the job. And um, here are the numbers. So two of the solar panels are putting 183 watts. The other uh, solar panel is putting 211. So this is a 200 watt array. This is a 300 watt array, but this is a portable one. So it's not as powerful. The units are independently hooked to uh, each phase in the house. So I'm feeding both phases in the house. That way I don't have a huge split in between the two phases. And this is the solar array that is feeding those grid tie inverters. So this is the 200 watt uh, and that's the portable one. So if you're asking why do I have a portable one, well, I usually take that one with me and go and do my stuff, charge my e-bike and all that stuff. When I come home, I hook it up and let it do its work. These things are MPPT. So what they do is they sync up the power. So right now, um, one of the solar panels, it's running at 33 volts, uh, five amps. The other solar panel is running 33 volts, six amps. So each one can be controlled independently and uh, this voltage gets dropped or raised based on uh, the amount of uh, sun that is outside and obviously the amps. Today, it produced 1,480 watts with a maximum of 232. So that was the maximum that it got out of 300. This produced 201 watts, so they are maxed out today at 1,058 as total wattage for today. I hope this video helped you out to decide uh, if those things are working out for you or not. For me, they're great. This is well worth it for me. Thanks for watching.